Hi, my name is Dylan Chung, and I'm a rising third year student at the University of Virginia. Today, I will be presenting on a research study published in 2021 by Lee et al. about pain, disability, and MRI changes in lumbar disc herniation patients treated with integrative medicine, a 10-year observational study. Lumbar disc herniation, or LDH, is a condition that causes chronic lower back pain, numbness, and weakening due to the breaking down of lumbar discs in the spine. Many Korean LDH patients seek care from traditional Korean medical physicians because of proven treatment effectiveness and the potential risks posed by invasive methods of conventional medicine, such as complications after surgery or infection. Korean traditional medicine is an accepted dual healthcare system that utilizes conventional medical equipment for diagnosis and traditional Korean medical methods for treatment. These treatments include acupuncture, herbal medicine, chuna, which is a form of manual therapy, and pharmacopuncture, which combines acupuncture with herbal medicine. This study aimed to assess the long-term success of integrative medicine treatments for LDH patients over a 10-year time period using magnetic resonance imaging and patient reporting measures, such as pain and disability rating scales. A baseline study was completed with 150 LDH patients from ages 18 and 60 years who were treated with traditional Korean medical treatments for a 24-week period in the years 2006 and 2007. 65 patients from this baseline study were reassessed after six months, one year, five years, and 10 years. This table displays the different modalities for measurement. MRI was used to examine disc type, herniation, modic changes, etc. And various questionnaires were used for patient reported variables, such as lower back pain, disability, satisfaction and perception of recovery, etc. As you can see in figure one, the MRI comparisons presented a downward curve in the volume of the herniated discs of patients. In figure two, as you can see, there is also a downward trend in the disc herniation types. Other results examined with MRI include worsened disc degeneration over time, as well as modic changes increasing over time. However, an increase in the muscle mass and subcutaneous fat mass was observed. There was also no significant change in bone mass density. Patient reported outcomes include a decrease of lower back and radiating leg pain and disability over time. There was little to no patients unsatisfied with their treatment, and majority of patients perceived improvement from treatment. Previously, studies have been done to test the immediate effectiveness of traditional Korean medical treatment on LDH. This study was the first of its kind to examine the long-term success of traditional medical treatments using MRI along with patient reporting measures. The results of this long-term study could additionally be explained by the patient's changes in lifestyle as recommended by the traditional Korean medicine physicians. However, the limitations of the study include the loss of participants due to the loss of contact because it was done over a long period of time. There's also the possibility of overestimation of satisfaction due to responses for the follow-up study, the absence of a control group, changes in MRI and BMD technology over time causing inconsistencies in examination and inaccurate self-reports due to the long time duration between treatment and follow-ups. Future studies could be done to compare the long-term effectiveness of surgery versus integrative treatments, as well as setting intentional criteria to ensure that participants are willing and able to complete a long-term study such as yearly follow-ups to accurately monitor changes from year to year and reduce the loss of participants. Thank you.